Let's get YouTube back here with a sneak review. This time it's on a pair of LeBrons again. I'm a huge LeBron fan, so you know this was this was a must cop, but at my conditions. So you guys can see these are the uh, the my son do LeBrons. These are the elites. See, they come in a regular LeBron. Love the elite box. I like the SEs. Same old, same old. Nothing really changes. Now, um, there are a few things I want to get into the shoe. Uh, this is one of them. You guys can see right there. I got these for two fifty. Right. These are my conditions. I was not gonna pay two ninety five for this shoe, so I'm glad I got them in the way I did. Let's see my size, three and a half, you know, pretty much the same old, same old. Another thing is that the uh, the paper actually looks different too. Um, it has the uh, same design as the um, the uh, what's call it? It's the uh, as the insole of the shoes. You guys can see right there. See that same that same little design right there is on the inside of the shoes. You know, apart from that, it comes in the same um you know same style, like a leap box, not really different. So uh But uh let's get on with the shoes though. This is what you're all waiting waiting for. Bam. These shoes are just insane. Insane, insane in my opinion. Start with the review. So here's the shoe. I already started to take off some of the um, little removed before flight uh, little plastic things on some parts. Uh, she's pretty dope. Honestly, one of the better LeBron stuff released. As far as I know, this shoe has been selling better than other elite models. As you can see right there, has the uh, remove before flight little thingy. Honestly, a pretty dope shoe. All right, now if we got that 360 view, you know, let's start off with the shoe. Um, the details pretty much are just insane. You see that little pattern right there? Let me try to. There you go. That little pattern right there is um all this is 3M honestly. It actually goes around pretty much the whole shoe, right here. On the back towards the heel. Even on the um the LeBron logo right there. I don't know where you guys could be able to tell that right there. But it's there. You know. Um, this shoe is pretty much an all blue shoe with a little bit of um gray. I mean silver on the panels. These are the positive panels. So um there's also this pla this plastic thing right here is iridescent. As you can see it changes color a bit. Um on the pole, a little Pull tabs right here. It's also, it also has that 3M type of uh, design on it. Pretty dope. Um, even the lion head on the shoe itself also has the design. Here we have the uh, elite thing. You know, pretty much done that same iridescent type of material. The um, lace tips just regular lace tips. So I get that focused in a bit. Uh, focus. There you go. It says Nike on them. Alright. 
on the other lace tip as the, uh, the swoosh done in blue these are great lace tips blue laces pretty much no extra laces which is kind of disappointing considering you're paying you know if, if I would have gotten this retail would have been pretty disappointed because I would I'd be like the lace tips I mean the, the laces but you know they're not here um I mean pretty much honestly that's the shoe it's a pretty plain shoe it has details and that's pretty much what makes it special um here's the thing I was telling you guys about earlier it's on the insole Let's see if I could bring the brightness up a bit there you go the my soon do LeBron that I was telling you about the logo is the same thing on the paper itself even the even the flat wire strands are blue I mean everything's blue um now my opinions over the shoe is that it's really dope definitely not worth the uh, 295 I can guarantee you that um, some differences from the other shoe is that from the other elite models is this does not have the forging iron type swoosh um, Another thing is that this shoe did retail for $295. You gotta take that into consideration. The SEs retailed for $295 and they didn't even sell on all like some stores during day one. So you know what? This shoe, I mean, I knew it was gonna sell better than other elite models. I just didn't know if it was gonna sell, you know, perfectly good. Obviously, that wasn't the case. Um, I'm more than I'm more than convinced that if this shoe would have retailed for um what I bought them for, I'm more than convinced this shoe probably would have sold out day one because this a lot of people were looking into this shoe, but retail just kills it for everyone. I mean, you know, retail just killed it, definitely. Then, uh, I'll show you the other shoe. Just all telling you about the little peel off thing as you can see it's starting to come out a bit I took it off on the other shoe because honestly yep I probably am gonna keep these um, if I do end up selling I'm selling for retail 295 ish I'll be making some of my money back but I probably won't sell these honestly and the roll off sticker Oh, the other thing I forgot to show you guys, I'm sorry guys, uh, was the soles. Um, the soles do have the uh, the LeBron signature done in the same blue. It has, it has an icy outsole. And on the uh, little plastic openings that they have this type of design on there, you can actually see a little bit more right there. And honestly, that's it. Uh, my opinion is the shoe's really dope. Um, Definitely would snag another pair, of, probably on the retail. Uh, no, no retail actually. And I am looking for the the SE pair. I I should have gotten them when I had the chance. Um, the other thing I, there is one thing I don't like about the shoe, apart from the things I may have said earlier, is this. On the posit, it's uh has this uh. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it has this uh. It's like glossy effect. I'm not a fan of this one. Um, I actually like the posit. You know, have that like rough effect like this does. Okay. You can hear this. You hear that? You know, it, it. 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 I like when. I like when that sounds. You know, a little bit rough. Here, it, it's. It feels kind of cheap. Honestly, if I know this was posit, I probably wouldn't have believed it. Um, you know, it's just. It's a little pet peeve of mine. Honestly, I, I don't think a lot of people care, but whatever the case is, here's the shoe, guys. Um, again, if, if you are looking to buy these shoes, try to get them under retail. Don't try to get them retail, because honestly, um, I don't think that they're worth the retail price. Even Maybe even the 275 is worth, but the 290, 295, which is pretty much 300, it's not it's just not cutting it. Um, another thing I want to talk about before I end the video is um, about the remastered collection that's gonna start coming out next year from spring forward. Um, 
I'm definitely going to be buying a lot of those pairs. You know why? Because I'm getting quality that I should be getting to begin with. I honestly, I don't care about paying 20 extra dollars for the shoes. As long as I get them, I get them. Um, most of you guys who are complaining about the price jump are just a bunch of sissies. Because uh, you guys a while back were saying, oh, I'd rather pay 5, 10 more dollars just to get better quality. Now that it happened, you guys are complaining about it. Honestly, I want to speak the truth here. So, you know, that that's just not cutting for me. Um, you guys are just a bunch of sissies. That's, that's the truth. Um, I'm sorry to say that if you're one of them, but uh, honestly, quality, sh I, I do agree if you quality should be received with the 170 that you're already paying for regular Jordans, but come on now guys, you guys are paying $200 for LeBron's, two, two, 225 for Kobe's, you know, you guys are paying some premium prices for synthetics, even though, even though the, the leathers that are used on, not on GR releases Jordans, isn't the best leather. It's a, it's still a leather. You know, you're paying that for leather. You're paying two well, what? Even me, I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty for this because I'm paying two twenty five for these. I mean, I'm paying two fifty for these. So that's a synthetic shoe. Honestly, I can guarantee you that this shoe probably costs Nike less to make than you know a, a regular Jordan model. Honestly, the only reason I can, I can see the shoe being more expensive to make is because it's deposit. But that's pretty much it. But, you know, my opinion can make you change yours. You guys buy what you like. I buy what I do. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to go on that little rant right there. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I do have the, the, uh, the polka dot pair. And I do have the, um, the other, the other Kobe nines, the, uh, the IDs did come in. I'll get the video out on those as soon as I can. Been a little bit busy. School starting, so I got to get prepped. Um, what else? Uh, I did get those Asics, the Ronnie Figs that released the Sages and the uh, the Rose Golds. Just gotta wait for those to come in. Also, I live in, uh, in the Jersey area, so I will be going to the Soul Exchange. Shout out to them. Amazing convention. I hope most of you go. Because I, I will be having a vendor table there. I will definitely be going. So if you do see me there, you know, hi. Hey, hi. This is what I look like. Um, if you see me there, you know, say hi. Manners are always, you know, always good to, it's always good to have manners nowadays, people know. So, uh, peace, guys. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram at Kid Soul Kicks. On Twitter at XPro underscore Commando X. I think that's it. I don't know. Just just look it down there in the description. It's definitely down there. Um, follow me on that. And uh, you know, if you have any questions about my collection, you can or you, you want to see what pairs I get in. Honestly, I have daily uploads on Instagram all the time. So um, you know, follow me. Again, like, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that that link below. And peace, guys. Hope you have a nice weekend.